Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create new shapes with the Merge Shapes feature. Let's say for example we have a shape of this offset circle and then we have this lightning bolt and we want to make it something like this where we'd have the lightning bolt in the middle and basically uh, it's stamped out when you really think about it. Or let's go into my next slide here, number two. Maybe we have a square shape here and a cloud shape and we want to look, make it look like there are bytes being taken out of this square. And uh, that's actually a pretty simple way to do it. Let me go ahead and go to slide three and show you uh, what this feature entails. Now what happens is maybe we have two shapes that we want to merge. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this shape, press the control key and click on that shape. And the drawing tools, context contextual menu comes up. We have our format tab. And under the insert shapes grouping, I want to select merge shapes. So when I select on that, there are five options here. Uh, union, Combine, Fragment, Intersect, and Subtract. So you can notice that the Union shape, what it does is just uh, combines them both together and takes off uh, the lines, the outlines, where they intersect. The Combine shape is similar to the Union, but basically it takes out that uh, combined piece. And the Fragment shape, basically what it does is it just combines them and the outline still shows up overlaying each other. It doesn't disappear one on top of the other. And with the intersect, basically it just keeps that intersection. And with the subtract, basically what it does is the last shape that you put on there, it's going to subtract that off of the um, other shape. So I'm going to show you how I created the um, shape here, with number one, slide one, and slide two. And then you can go ahead and have fun with any other types of shapes you want to create, some new shapes. So if you noticed before that that particular shape was basically two shapes. One was a circle, so I'm going to go ahead and insert a circle. And we have our oval here. Uh, these are the recently shapes, recently used shapes I did, but if you didn't have this here, basically your oval is going to be your circle. So I'm going to go ahead and go under the basic shapes and select this oval. And in order to draw a perfect circle out of an oval, you have to press the shift key while you're drawing it. So I press the shift key and I'm going to draw out my circle. Let me go and draw that out. And then the next shape I need is my lightning bolt. So I go under insert and go to shapes and I'm going to go ahead and select the lightning bolt. And I'm going to go ahead and just draw that out. I don't need to press the shift key. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just draw it out a little bit. And my lightning bolt was, it faced the other way, that this bolt faced the other way. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it. So I'll go to rotate and just flip it, flip horizontal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that lightning bolt inside the circle. So it's kind of true, it's right dead in the center. And once that's done, I need to select both the images. So I can go ahead and just select that and press the control key and select the circle. Or I can just draw outside press the right mouse key and just kind of draw it out here. It'll select both. What I can do is also press the control A. Basically it selects everything. I'll go ahead and stick with that. And once I have everything selected, I have my drawing tools, context menu, go under format and under merge shapes. Let me go ahead and just select, uh, in this case it was subtract. So basically I was subtracting that shape out of the circle. I'm going to select that. And now the rest is all, I'm going to, let me move this to the center. And now all the rest is, is just filling in it with the appropriate colors and the outline and doing the shape effects. So I'm going to make this red and then the outline, I'm going to have no outline. And then for the shape effects, let me go into preset here and I think I, let me go ahead and move this out a little bit so I can see it. Let me go ahead and go to shape effects and under the preset, let me see, I think it was this one? No. Let me go ahead and select the one that I chose earlier. Yeah, I think it was this one. Anyway, this one looks like it's a pretty nice looking one, so I'm going to go ahead and move it over here. And this is the way that I created a new shape out of those two shapes. So let's see how we did the other one where we are creating the bite marks out of the square. So let me go ahead and create a square here. Go to this slide, go to insert, uh, under shapes here. Let me just, well, maybe I'll do a rectangle. I'll just go ahead and do a rectangle. And then uh, let me go ahead and get some of my clouds, go ahead and insert and go into shapes and find my cloud. I think the cloud shows up over here. So let me just draw a cloud here. And go ahead and just move this in a little bit more. So I need a couple clouds and I need to kind of give the impression that it's biting out of the uh, square. So I'm just gonna put that halfway in there. Now I wanna have multiple bite marks. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this selected, press Control D and it'll duplicate that shape. Let me go ahead and move this over here and go ahead and press Control D again. Whoops, it went over there, so let me go ahead and move it over here. And if I didn't want that little, if I wanted to get just that little part here, I can just rotate that cloud. Let me go ahead and rotate that cloud here. 
Let me go ahead and move it over here. Press Control D to duplicate, and maybe you get another bite mark here. And I think that's enough for now. So what I can do now is I press Control A to select all the shapes under the Drawing Tools, Format, and go into Merge Shapes, and this is where I would click Subtract. So I basically, after that's selected, I have these bite marks here, and now I can just change the color of it. Maybe I'll just change it to green this time, and maybe no fill or no outline. And maybe for effects, uh, something pretty simple. Let me move this over here. Move over here so I, you can see it. Go to Shape Effects, uh, Presets. Let me see. That one looks pretty good. And then I can just go ahead and enlarge that one here. And then we have our shape, our totally new shape with these uh, bite marks. Really, they're just clouds, but they're half of the clouds or a portion of the clouds. But they, now they look like bite marks in that square. So we have just created a new shape here. So that's a pretty cool feature. I think this feature was enabled in PowerPoint 2010. I think it was under the combined shapes. It was called combined shapes. But in PowerPoint 2013, this is called merge shapes. So this is a nice little feature if you want to kind of make new shapes out of existing shapes. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.